hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribe we have a good time on this channel now as you already seen by the title we're going to be making the long awaited overthinking video how to stop overthinking i think this was in my three things i had to give up to live a better life video that i made last year i've spoken about overthinking as one of the major things that i had to give up to live a better life and since that video i've had a lot of requests to make like separate videos about each of those things that i talked about in that video and how i overcame them now we're going to start with overthinking who you guys <laughs> overthinking is one of my biggest struggles and i say that because i am still struggling with overthinking but with these tips that i'm going to give you guys i've been able to manage it and i just want to share because overthinking can ruin a lot of things for us as human beings in our lives like i've told you guys i explained in that video and if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it in the description box below i explained in that video on how overthinking ruled my life for years how overthinking made me sit back on so many important things in my life how overthinking actually ruined relationships and friendships for me so i learned how to manage it with this few tips that i'm going to give you guys and if i'm being 100 with you guys right now i haven't fully attacked overthinking and that's because it is a process and overthinking is huge overthinking is broad overthinking is it's just that stubborn habit because i call it a habit or a psychological pain that's what i call it like a psychological pain it's one of those ones that are so stubborn they are so difficult to handle now i'm going to be giving you guys i think four or five tips that i practice on a daily because my overthinking is off the chart my overthinking well was off the chart now it is better managed better understood better put on wraps better like you know put down on my level to understand to deal with to handle like all of that right now i'm in a place where i can thankfully to god say that i have partially conquered overthinking in my life so let's just jump right into the video okay You're the first tip that i am practicing in my life and honestly i am going to recommend 100 percent it's coming first on this list because it is huge is focus on positive self-talk we are so quick to give ourselves heat for everything when you start to have that feeling when your brain starts to communicate to you that you need to be thinking on 300 speed just start telling yourself no i don't need to i am sufficient for me in this situation this wasn't my fault as this is going on right now it's just a phase talk to yourself positively and automatically you start to feel positive about the situation now make a list of what you're grateful for and what you have achieved this gives you a reminder of what you've been through how you've overcame situations how you have managed to put yourself together in tough times and during the time where i'm doing that things start to reset in my brain i start to feel better my spirit is lifted my soul is lifted like the moment i just start to talk to myself in my head like okay you know what this is all in your head all right you know what you're beautiful don't think like this this is your brain just trying to deceive you to think this other way this is not how it really is relax you're gorgeous you're hard working you you put in your best into this project you give this your best like it is not your fault that this went the way that it went like literally when i start saying those things to myself i'm relaxed i'm calm the negative thinking and intrusive thoughts just jumps out the window positive self-talk top notch this leads to my second point which to be honest i usually do this first before my first point i usually catch myself be self aware you have to be able to tell when this is overthinking that's the reason why you need to stop for a second and be like am i overthinking is this irrational like what exactly is going on in my mind in this situation right now am i thinking about this the way i'm supposed to be thinking about it or is this just intrusive thoughts and is this just happening to me just because it's me it's just how i think about things but the truth is if you let it go on for like a couple minutes you get sucked into it the deeper the intrusive thoughts get the harder it is for you to pull yourself out of it that's the reason why in that first few seconds to a minute when you start thinking catch yourself the way overthinking works is 
it doesn't just stop at like the surface level it's like asking yourself like why did i not get this job is it because i'm bad at it oh my god it must have been because I didn't dress properly or oh my god my CV must have looked so terrible or oh my god maybe they called my referral and they said so many bad things see it gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and if you don't catch yourself in that few seconds to a minute you get sucked in catch yourself be self-aware understand when it's an intrusive thought when you're overthinking get yourself right after that you've determined that it is overthinking then you move into positive self-talk positive affirmations telling yourself good things about that situation telling yourself good things about yourself oh it's not about me particularly that's why they didn't give me this job i wasn't just the right fit maybe it's just how it is it's not like i am terrible i'm not going to find a job it's just this is not the right job for me the third tip i'm going to be, to give you is to think about this right ask yourself this question whatever it is that is bothering me that is making me go crazy mentally that is psychologically draining me that is making me overthink deep dig myself into a deep dark hole would it be worth it in six months or a year would it even be worth it in six days there are so many things that has happened to me that i have literally used overthinking to worsen the situation to make it bigger than it is and then when i call myself back and I'm just like, this is not even something I'm supposed to give three hours to. Like, literally. But I've given it one week. I've given it months. I have literally allowed myself to make it bigger. I have drained myself with stupid thoughts. Reality speaking, it's not even how it is. Like, I obviously created the scenarios in my head. If it's not going to matter in six days, it shouldn't matter that very moment what overthinking does to you is literally distract you from much more better and important things that you should be doing with your time at that very moment you lose time on irrelevant things just because your thoughts are all over the place you're not able to control yourself if it's not going to matter in a, in a couple days down the line it should not bother your sleep that very moment always learn to put things into perspective ask yourself several questions be logical and i know sometimes when emotions are involved it's hard for logical thinking but always always put things into perspective my fourth tip is about overthinking when it comes to your goals and your future plans and what it would be for you in your future because overthinking honestly is broad that's the reason why i say it's constant in our life and one of the things that we overthink a lot as human beings is our future what does it have in store for us are we going to do good are we going to be successful at the things that we're actually building at the moment for that future what's it going to be like are we going to be married to the best partners for us are we going to have beautiful kids are we even going to have kids at all are we going to be successful financially emotionally you know mentally everything we always always overthink the future now i'm not saying to not think or look deep into your future but let's be realistic focus and put the work on your present day activities or your present day life right focusing on the present does a lot good for your future than worrying about your future and you need to understand that you spend so much time worrying about your future that you're not actually putting any work into creating a brighter and a beautiful future do you know that you spend so much time overthinking situations overthinking if you're going to be with the right partner if you're going to make the right choice that you're not actually putting in the work at that very moment into meeting good people there could actually be potential beautiful partners in the future focus on the present the present has a lot of work that bakes your future that is where your head should be at and i know we also overthink the present which is the reason why we we're trying to do like those little steps or those little tips that i gave previously for the present because the present is much more important that's the reason why i told you in my last tip that if it will not matter to you in six days they don't need giving it two hours or three hours or one hour even like let it go now the final tip i'm going to be giving you in this video is to be okay not being perfect let me tell you something about perfection and how it has an effect on our mental health trying to be perfect at everything trying to be a perfect human being trying to be perfect at every single thing you put your heart into your hand on everything is toxic 
we as human beings cannot be perfect no matter how hard you try to be a good person no matter how hard you try to follow the rules you know the guidelines everything you can never be perfect and you have to be okay not being perfect you try so hard to be perfect is where that feeling of failure stems from and i say this because you cannot be perfect so the areas where you fall short the areas where you fail the areas where you get rejected you see it as a personal failure on your part forgetting that you're human and you cannot get everything right now that overthinking is like oh i put in my best i always have to get it right if i do this it has to go well why didn't it go well that means i didn't do it well that means there was something i missed there is nothing you missed you can't just get it right all the time what you need to focus on is progress and not perfection focus on progress is this progressing nicely yes there, there could be you know loopholes there could be like little tweaks that you could make to the, the entire situation or the event or whatever it is to make it better but is there progress if you look back at where you started and where it is right now do you see a difference do you see a change do you see a change in the right direction that's what you should be looking at in terms of you personally are you the same person that you were last month are you the same person that you were two months ago are you the same person that you were last year and obviously if you're if you're putting in the work to being a better person if you're, if you're putting in the work to self-improve to get your life together you will not be the same person that you were last year definitely not yes do you have your entire life together no did you reach the financial goal that you have set out from the year previously no but are you okay do you have much more than you had before yes that is progress and that should be your focus if you started a business the business is not booming it's not making you billions of dollars but is it making you money do you see profit yes that is progress you're still working towards getting that your one billion dollars or one million dollars and you shouldn't stop working on it and that's just the truth focusing on perfection is where you kill yourself it's where where you start to have that you know feeling of you know that overwhelming feeling of failure that feeling of okay i'm not perfect i didn't do this why didn't i get this right I, it must be me i must be missing something no you're not no you're not and i need you to understand aim for progress rather than perfection Whew, i hope all of this actually sunk in <laughs> because speaking about overthinking actually gets me a little bit a tad bit emotional because i still struggle with overthinking like it's a huge part of me that i am working on so bad and honestly it is tiring sometimes when the thoughts just creeps in oh my god i'm just like not you again honestly and i know that a lot of you can relate because overthinking is in everyone's lives honestly there's literally no one who has a clear head and doesn't overthink situations i mean some of us actually have it worse than other people but generally we all deal with overthinking our lives and i just hope that at least these tips that i gave you would help you in some way let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's have a chit chat about overthinking and how you're dealing with your overthinking uh follow me on instagram if you haven't already i have a link in the description box below and also on the screen thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye